Hey there everybody, it's Alex here from VG247.com and here I am with Super Mario 3D All-Stars which of course is sort of a play on Super Mario All-Stars from the Super Nintendo era. It is a collection of the three-dimensional Mario games and it's pretty cool. It's got in it Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy. So that of course spans three different consoles, that is N64, GameCube and the Wii and it's a pretty unique package. Basically, the games in this package are excellent for the most part. I think I'm one of those people I really, really do not like Super Mario Sunshine very much, but I think Super Mario 64 has aged brilliantly. I'm, I've been surprised to see some people around the announcement of this game saying and suggesting that Mario 64 hasn't aged well. I think it's aged brilliantly, you know. The camera is a little bit iffy and the controls are a little bit unforgiving as they were back in the day. But I still think it's a wonderful, wonderful game. And then, of course, you've got Sunshine, which is sort of a um, a bit of a Marmite game, we'd say in England. It's a love-it-or-hate-it game. I'm, <laughs> I'm more on the hate side, if I'm honest. But I'm, I still think it's a pretty great game. And then you've also got Super Mario Galaxy, which is... Although it was completely outshone by its successor, by Galaxy 2, which is one of the finest 3D platformers ever made, it's still a great game. It is still an excellent game. It's just a shame and strange, actually, that this collection doesn't include Galaxy 2. So, yeah, what you get in this package is that trio of games, and it's a solid trilogy, and if you if we're put, talking about review scores, you can't give this game a low review score, just based, really, on the quality of the games that are included. Also, they're just good versions of the games that are included. However, it is pretty bare bones for a re-release package of this kind. And what I mean by that is, there isn't that much to it. It is very, very simply, these games re-released. There's very little else to it. So, you know, in real terms, you've got 64, Sunshine, Galaxy, and they all run as you would imagine. So, they run well, but for instance, there was that uh, decompilation project that sort of managed to get to the base code of Super Mario 64, and that's resulted in a PC port of Super Mario 64 that is eminently modern, which means that there are incredible mods out there for Mario 64 to make it look high def, to make it look almost like the CG artwork that was used to promote the game. This has none of that. That mod, you can do things like bump up the draw distance. This has little to none of that in terms of it looks and feels like you're playing the Nintendo 64 game, for better and for worse. The same is very much true of Galaxy. It's been improved in some ways. There's some changes to the to the graphical presentation, but in real terms, Galaxy actually was the one that, that feels the strangest because obviously it was on the Wii and it relied on the Wii Remote, and there's still all the sort of control flares that are to do with motion controls. It's just they've been sort of applied to the Switch controls as best as they can be. If I'm honest, that feels pretty rubbish in places, but it is what it is, right? There's no other way to do that game, so they had to do it this way. So I understand that, and I respect that. They've all sort of had upgraded hoods, but Sunshine is the one where that stuff feels to make the biggest impression. You know, the game's got a 4-3 presentation originally, and now it's 16-9, and so they've sort of changed that up, and they've added a widescreen-friendly heads-up display, and there's a lot more heads-up display in Sunshine as well, just in the sense that you're constantly monitoring how much water is in your backpack and stuff like that. And in all those senses, it feels like a perfectly serviceable re-release of these games. But it is surprising in the sense that you look at what's happened with some recent 3D platformer re-releases, you look at Crash and Spyro, where really those re-releases are almost, they're almost like full remakes of the game. This ain't that, to be absolutely sure. This is a much simpler release. Also included is the soundtracks for the game, so you can listen to them through the main menu of the game. The menu itself is nice looking and serviceable. You can quit to the menu from within the games, which sounds like an obvious thing, but sometimes you get collections like these where you have to reset the game in order to change title. Not so here, you just press the back button, select go back to menu, and then you can select a different game. And like I say, the games hold up. Uh, you're gonna see in this video, all the content you're going to see from Galaxy and Sunshine is from quite early on because that was when I was capturing. I captured the early stages of the game. Then you'll see some stuff from a little bit deeper in Mario 64 because that is my favourite of the of this trio. But yeah, it, it's like I say, it's interesting that Galaxy 2 is omitted. I feel like this, even in the context of the fact that they haven't done that much to these games, I feel like if you include Galaxy 2 as well, 
this package sort of immediately goes from a sort of four star package to a five star package but they haven't done that and then in terms of the games that are in here they're great classic games and they hold up really well but the stuff that holds it back from being a five star premium feeling experience is sort of the fact that you know you can see the seams of where these things have been ported from other platforms especially with uh, especially with galaxy where you're actually you know having to use motion controls to use a pointer to point at the buttons to save the game and stuff like that um, it feels like it would have taken not very long at all for them to sort of just make those menus respond yes. to normal controls but whether it's out of just not wanting to do it or out of wanting to maintain authenticity to the original for whatever reason it doesn't have that and the same sort of stuff is true of mario 64 where we've seen uh, on the pc fan made port we've seen that this game can look pretty good in widescreen presentation doesn't have widescreen presentation they've redrawn some of the sprites and stuff like that but it is the game as it was on the n64 that's the other thing, of course. There was a Nintendo DS version of Mario 64. That changed the game significantly. And I certainly get why they've used the N64 version. I think it's the better version of the game. But it's it's a shame that some of the quality of life changes from the DS version haven't made it over. But yeah, that's about it. I don't have an enormous amount to say about this. It's a re-release of a trio of classic games. It's worth noting that it's seemingly a limited re-release in the sense that Nintendo have said it's gonna be on the sale until like the end of March next year. But after that, it's not clear. Are these going to be out of print? Are they just going to disappear entirely? Are they going to sell them separately digitally? We don't know. But if you want it, my advice is just to grab it, just to be safe. And, yeah, it's it's hard to complain, right? When, when you get a, a collection of games this good, it feels extremely picky to say, well, they haven't done enough to them. They haven't changed them enough. They could have done more work. But I'm not going to stand down from that. They definitely could have done more work. Arguably, they should have done more work. But for whatever reason, they haven't. These are the games we got. They are the games as they were, more or less, back in the day. And that still makes them excellent. It's just a shame that they didn't do a little more to enhance the value proposition of this package. And it's a shame also because these are being released for Mario's 35th anniversary, right? And you want something big to sort of celebrate the occasion and it doesn't feel like it quite stands up to that you know you compare it to the super nintendo super mario all stars say what you will about that release some people really don't like it but it took those original nintendo mario games and put them on the super nintendo with new art with slightly changed physics with some other bonuses and that was really great this is not like that this is the original games absolutely preserved if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, give us a subscribe, all that stuff. It really helps us out. If you ring the bell, you'll be the first to see all the new stuff from VG247. And of course, we're hitting an exciting time with next generation hardware and stuff now. So stick with us and you'll get all that and more. Until next time, everyone, though, see ya.
Here we go! 